to my party. We're just getting started. A life is a dream or a nightmare scar. Hey Tankers, Bonza Duck here. So today we find ourselves in my STRV 103-0. I'm platooned with Mayhem and he's in his 103-0. He's working on the tier 10. I already have the tier 10. What's up? I thought that we were just playing some games and, uh, you know, I don't know about you guys, but it seems to be a real struggle with these holiday op season, this holiday op season. I know that a lot of people who hit, normally don't play the game a lot come back, get the boxes, play the new tanks, blah, 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 blah. But they really do jack up the games. Anyway, uh, we find ourselves on Tundra and uh, in a standard battle in a Tier 10, Tier 9, Tier 8 game. So mid-tier medium, which is surprising because generally... Uh, been finding uh, most of our games have been lower tiers. You know, tier eight, we're in a tier 10 battle. You know, tier six, we're in a tier eight battle. <laughs> uh, but, um, you know, I've been playing the STRV 103-0 uh, for quite a while. And, uh, you know, I, I enjoy it. Um, it's It can be a little wonky, as most STRVs are. You understand that. You've played them. You understand them. Um, it doesn't have the, the heat shield on the front. But, um you know, it's got pretty good sloping armor, and it can, you know, bounce a good shot now and then. <laughs> um, I'm running improved uh, aiming, uh, binos, and um, uh, turbo, bounty turbo on this. And the, the turbo really kind of gives it that little oomph it needs, especially when it's in siege mode. Uh, it's got a, what, a 105? Yeah, 105 millimeter with a 390 alpha, 308 average penetration. If I fire the gold, I go up to 350 on the average penetration. We spawned over in the south, and I like to play, when I'm in a TD on this map, if I spawn on this on the south side, I like to play right over here in this little hill on K, what is that, K9. And with the STRB, it works really nice because you can crawl, crawl up on the hill. But it gives you nice shots on tanks that are coming over here. And, and generally, if they've got fast tanks, they can tend to get there quicker than we can. And you can get some shots on them. And then once in a while, they'll be peeking around through these rocks. And you can you know, really uh, do, you know, do some good damage. And you'll, you'll see that in the game. We hold that line pretty good. Um, Unfortunately, from this spawn, at least as far as, as I like to play, uh, uh, you know, TD, there's really not any good places to go over here on the west side. So it's always generally over here on the east. Um, you can sometimes pop up over here and get shots across the middle, but that I'm not very successful with that. <laughs> uh, but so anyway, here we go. I'm gonna roll over here. Like I said, I'm running the turbo on this thing, so it moves along pretty good. Especially the reverse speed. And we see that there's Barask and a Char over there. Right up in the middle, trying to get those eat those early spots. Now that does tend to help the enemy or not so good for the enemy team. Although they get get it. Wow, it's our RHM fans are up there. There's a nice shot into the standard B. And I am suffering on the reload because I'm not carrying a, a rammer. But I, I find, even though it's dropped the DPM down a little bit, uh, I just find that I get, m get more shots with the improved uh, aiming. So, standard fare. We got a mouse that's going into the river. And uh, Barask and got a BZ and E50 standard. And a Taro. I mean, it, they're, they're pushing hard into this. Taro's gonna roll up here. And uh armor not penetrated. And I'm trying not to block Mayhem. He likes to play a little further back, and like I said, I'm trying not to block him. And they still have taken the hill and they're they're giving us quite a run. It's really not looking good. It's three to one already. Got a nice shot into the RHM. Panzer, the little German light tank. Let's see, uh, we got a BZ 176. Heavies are doing pretty good. The IS-4 and the 122 are driving in. The T4 playing in the middle, and then we got this mouse coming up on our base. I was kind of talking to Mayhem about that, saying, "Hey, you know, thought maybe the GSR 1008 would take care of him and you know hold him off for a little bit." I was letting Mayhem know that we may have to go back and defend the base for the mouse. Put a nice shot into the Minotauro. 
dip in there underneath his tracks a little bit. Blind shot, and of course, mouse is on the base with the GSOR and T110E3 are taking care of that, so may not need to do anything. You have a T30 over here, and the BZ176. Still an E50 at Baraskin. The Minotauro. WZ uh, over here is taking some shots onto the mouse. There's a nice shot. A double tap. Mayhem got into him too. Took that guy down to 44 hit points and he is feeling it. Minotaur had come down off the mountain and now he's up on the, the hill or down below this. 50, yeah. Over there, I'm going to move over here. You can see the turbo gives this thing just that little oomph it needs to be to reposition when you're in siege mode. Where, where, where can he be? See the E50s thinking about popping out. Oh, yeah, let's go ahead and give him a shot. He's down. Put a nice little shot into the Minotauro. And the flat plate of his. Yep. Alright, Jim. And he's down. Oh, well, he's down to 129. Alright, so. Moving back. Spotted, so you gotta stay low. Just disappear. I know there's a T-30 up on that hill, and I really don't want to have him just drop something on me. Charm lay 75. I just force moving in. He's pushing way hard. 122 TM came back. A T-103 is guarding the base. 110 E-3. I don't know why I'm calling it T-103. <laughs> the 110 E-3 is, is guarding the base. Got a Barrasque over there. I was hoping somebody would... You know, I was hoping that Barrasque would kind of pop out, maybe go over by the mouse and allow me to shoot him, but I just can't get a good shot. Now, WZ-121FT has got... Maybe that was Mayhem that was able to put a shot in that. Oh, and I take the hit for Mayhem. <laughs> well, I got spotted moving around, but Barrasque pops me. I'm like, okay, that's not good. That's not good. Shouldn't be here. Shouldn't be doing that. We're still losing the game technically, but we're up on hit points, right? Now, from here, there's really not a lot of places I can go to, you know, be very effective without putting myself in a crossfire. If I try to go up on that hill, like right in front of me, to work on the Minotauro and the Barrasque, I put myself in a crossfire with the T30. Uh, so, playing a little cautious here. And we're waiting. And we're waiting. We've lost our eyes. The IS 4s. I don't know what he's doing. Got two kills and he hasn't received any damage yet, so. I guess I can't complain. Man, got lamb blasted by the arty. Oh, T30 coming up here. Shot in the hand, immediately back down. Guess I could have waited. Mayhem puts a shot into him. W, he fires back, no go. Now we got the WZ120 on their side. Taro's going to try and get up on the base. And we know he's very low hit points, right? And T-30 is very low hit points, too. There's a shot into the WZ, and he's just pushing on through. Our WZ takes care of him. Artic's coming in. Bam is not happy. Just took that party shot. And I was hoping that 103, the T110E3 would be coming down 
trying to help us with this T30, but he chooses not to. We do have a Barask and an E4 on their side. What's that? Oh my goodness, and there was a Yag Tiger. Not prepared for him. Blind shot. I bounce his shot. And I'm like, whoa. I want to get down. Because he's blind firing this tree, and I don't want him to get lucky with a shot. I was just trying to get that T30 to come up the hill so we can finish him off. He's really kind of holding us down. I can see the Barask is moving in on the E3. Your E4 is coming in. Thought maybe the WZ, WZ was going to push out there. Nope. Let's see if I can reposition myself. Honestly, I'm saying I got to take care. I got to work this Barask. And it's like tuck up against the wall. Oh, but the E3 gets him, so. At about that time, Mayhem gets spammed with some more already. He's down to 2%. It's like, you gotta get this T30 out of here. So I'm, I, I'm thinking I'm gonna have to take one for the team here. I'm gonna have to push up, get as close as I can to him. I may take one for the team. Maybe the WZ. And I, oh, and there it is. And at that point, the WZ decides, okay, we can push him. So he's got a fairly long way to road. Long and longer than what that took. Now we got the E4 over here. It's clean up in aisle five. We gotta be aggressive now. Mayhem's down, so it's me and the WZ and the E3. See the Yag Tiger coming up here? I'm like, ooh. But yet I know the E4 is over here too. I'm like, okay, I don't want to get in the Condor Crossfire. There goes the WZ, and I'm like, ah, uh, crap. He's gonna come around. I'm ready for you, buddy. Yep, he's down. All right. So now it's the E3 and me and the Yag Tiger against the Lorraine. And E3 and me against the Yag Tiger and Lorraine. That's it. I'll, I'll learn to talk here. See him over there. He's really not much match for that E3. And I suppose if you could get him into the lower plate, yeah. But the Artie could get on top of him. Then he's running. I gotta go into siege mode. Keep him up over here, and I can see him, I can see him, I can see him, I can see him, I can see him. Yeah, he's dead. Okay. I didn't want to shoot him anyway. Let's slide down the hill without damaging myself. Let's go get the Artie. Mayhem's telling me he thinks the Artie is still in the last known location because that's where he thinks the last shot he got came from. I'm kind of heading over that direction. If I can spot him. Yep, hi. I've got better view range than he does. Did you know there's a rock in that bush? <laughs> anyway, I can see he's on the run. A grumpy old fart. Well... Grumpy old fart. I'm gonna chase you down. I'm gonna hunt you down, Artie. I'm coming over here where I can get to a spot where I can maybe get a lot of area to shoot in. Go into siege mode immediately and fire. And I put a nice hit on Grumpy old fart. About that point, he decides, you know what? He's gonna turn and face me. I'm halfway through my reload and bam. And that is the victory. Well, I got a first class out of that. Uh, what, Bruiser, Fire for Effect, Confederate, and High Caliber. 120,107 in credits, 4,807 in experience. I ended up doing 5,333 in damage. So I had some blind shots in there. Maybe, uh, let's see. The Ag Tiger, yeah, looks like I got into him, yeah. Well, so, yeah, I'm not going to complain.
Uh, like I said, 5,033 uh, in damage, 2 kills, gives me a base XP of 1,017. Fired 16 shots, all 16 of them hit, and 14 penetrated. That, <laughs> that's good when you can get that, right? Uh, 1,931 from 300 meters out. I did block 560, and I assisted, or detected, for 406. Made some credits, made some really good experience. So, I mean, it it is a fun TD to play in the right situations when you when you're when you got a bad game it it's it sucks <laughs> you know uh you know but i you know like i said i i'd seen skill uh playing it with the turbo and that's when i decided i would give the turbo a try and honestly it it does it does help the 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 td quite a bit anyway just thought i dropped it you know first class can't complain i don't know what it would have taken to get an ace tanker probably mm, you know, I'm not sure what what was I at for base XP, uh, thousand seventeen, so maybe eleven hundred, eleven twelve hundred. You know, a couple more shots maybe. But anyway, that's my uh, STRB one hundred three dash zero on Tundra in a standard battle. If you like the video, hit the like button. If you don't like the video, hit the don't like button. But leave a comment, please leave a comment. This is Bonsai Duck out.